Hey what's up everyone, today we're going over the different Starbucks cup sizes and see whether or not they really do hold the amount of fluid ounces that Starbucks says they hold. For this experiment, we have the tall size cup which claims to hold 12 fluid ounces, the grande size cup which claims to hold 16 fluid ounces, the venti size cup which claims to hold 24 fluid ounces, and the trento size cup which claims to hold 31 fluid ounces. I will also be using a measuring cup and water with green food coloring just so it's easier to see the water for demonstration purposes. Let's start off by pouring 12 fluid ounces of water into our tall cup. As you can see, the liquid fills up the cup with a small amount of space left over. Next, let's pour the tall cup into our grande cup. Since the grande claims to hold 16 fluid ounces, let's pour in 4 more fluid ounces to reach the 16 fluid ounce mark. As you can see, the result is similar with the small amount of space left over near the top. Now let's pour the grande cup into the venti cup. Since the venti claims to hold 24 fluid ounces, let's pour in 8 more fluid ounces to reach the 24 fluid ounce mark. As you can see, the result is still similar with the small amount of space left over near the top. Finally, let's pour the venti cup into the trenta cup. Since the Trenta claims to hold 31 fluid ounces, let's pour in 7 more fluid ounces to reach a 31 fluid ounce mark. As you would expect, the result is still the same with the, just a small space left over near the top. In conclusion, the Starbucks cups do hold the amount of fluid ounces that Starbucks claim they hold. But don't expect to get that amount of liquid when you buy a drink, especially with the amount of ice they put in it. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, hit the like button. As always, don't forget to subscribe.